Hi and welcome. You are watching Value Based FM video blog. Right now, as we are taking this video, we are into June 2021 and we are halfway through this year themes on performance, management and improvement. Just a quick recap uh, that the video that I've shared uh, in the past are such as choosing the right metrics, uh, performance measurement, benchmarking and the last one that we did was on establishing key performance indicator. For those of you who are new with us, you may want to visit the Value Based FM uh, YouTube channel to catch up or to learn where you need to. All right. For this installment, I'm going to share with you on raising the standard of FM practice continually. All right. First thing that may come to your mind is why do you need to do that? For this simple key reason, to demonstrate continually value add to organization, especially in today's time, that the expectation from the organization and the end user is increasingly more than before, especially we are in the midst of this pandemic. So how do we demonstrate uh, value add to organization? Okay, you can refer to the past few videos on uh, the intentional setting of key performance, right, and benchmarking. And now, what are the things that we need to uh, focus on in order that we can continually improve the FM practice? Here are a few key reasons. Okay, relating to the last video, we can adopt the KPIs that support the core uh, business functions activities. Number two, focus on improving customer satisfaction. And time has changed, right? And due to the pandemic, there are different expectations from the facilities user. Like for example, the need to ensure and to feel safe about returning to the office or to the workplace. Next, enhancing productivity. How do you enable the workspace to be uh, more productive in carrying out the work processes of the core business? And also implementing innovation that will enhance right, the productivity, the customer satisfaction, and also integrating the processes so that a uh, strategic plan can be based on the information, the output from the data analysis. Okay, how do you go about um, doing that? Okay, I'm going to give you two examples, comparators and best in class. Who are the comparators? Comparators are those um, facilities that are similar to yours in terms of the, the space, the area, and also the usage of the buildings, the built environment and the facilities. So that you can compare in terms of the utilities usage like energy uh, for cost uh, per meter square, and also in terms of the water usage, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, next, best in class. Uh, many has been talking about best practices, but where to get this information, right? I'd like to share with you uh, areas whereby you can find the best in class. If you are uh, following up or attending um, FM conferences, you will notice that there, there are um, awards presentation on the certain practices that they have done well, all right? And listen now to the sharing and presentation by those award winners. Number two, uh, you can look up into um, the publication by the respective authorities in relating to building and uh, facilities, right? Who may be the winner or who are the winners, right? For example, on sustainability for environment, um, 
for green mark to some some countries maybe um, sustainability for environmental uh, protection for lease so and so forth all right so here uh, we have um, the need okay for FM to continually raise the FM practice in short right we are in the business of continually and never ending improvement that's what we do in FM right our key role is to facilitate the business success all right so uh, that's all for uh, this uh, video installment and should you have any question please feel free to uh, private message me personally or you can type it in the comments below and if you are new and you find that uh, this video has benefited you uh, please uh, do subscribe uh, to this video channel which is below this YouTube channel. Alright, so I'll see you next month. Bye.